Hey everyone, what's up? It's Matt with Downrange Firearms Training. Uh, I just got back from the Personal Defense Network Spring Training Tour at Rob Pinkus of ICE Training. While on the tour, I was able to act as an instructor in a lot of the classes, and I also partook in a couple classes of students. One of the things I was uh, most excited about was testing out the new crossbreed ICE training belly band. Uh, what's different about this belly band as opposed to the other belly bands that you may recognize in the market is the fact that this belly band incorporates one of the crossbreed Ojai holsters. Uh, it's totally velcro backed and it sticks right to the velcro on the belly band. Uh, the other thing I like about this belly band as well is the fact that velcro doesn't extend all the way down. Uh, it's kind of a little bit shorter right there so that actually makes it a little bit more comfortable when you're wearing it. Some of the other belly band holsters the velcro kind of digs in against your skin when, you, when you're wearing it. But what's cool about this is the fact that with the other belly bands they're really easy to use for deep concealment. The problem is if you have to draw the gun, especially we're talking about a training environment or you know worst case scenario real life environment, having to draw the gun is fine but having to reholster the gun becomes a problem. That's where the crossbreed Ojai holster comes in. Sticks right in the belly band, whatever position you want it in, and it makes for a consistent and efficient and safe holstering and unholstering of the gun. Uh, that's one of the biggest uh, advantages of the new belly band from crossbreed and ICE training is the fact that the gun stays there. It's, it's totally stuck in place uh, unless you need it obviously it puts a little bit more pressure on the gun keep it in place better uh, one of the things that I did with the belly band to, to test out you know how durable and everything it is is I actually ran it through a portion of the advanced pistol handling class that we hosted on the, on the tour and I did some seated shooting some shooting from inside the vehicle because people are always asking how the belly band fails when you're when you're down you know in a seated position you have to draw the gun from a seated position so we'll throw some video up in this video of that Stand up, finish. Multiple shots. Up. Back down. Up. Stand up while you reload. And the other thing that we did, we did fit shot, and I did the entire fit shot uh, episode with the belly band on. We did kettlebell thrusters, we did um, box jumps, we did some running, and the entire time the gun stayed in place where I needed to, and it was consistent and efficient every single time that I needed the gun. Um, so you guys should definitely check out the belly band, the new crossbreed ICE training belly band, one of the newest holsters in the market. It's actually probably going to make me switch from going from a strong side holster to carrying in the appendix style, you know, 24-7, which I, I kind of do on and off. But the cool part is, again, it's it's totally modular. You can do anything you want on it from changing out the M&P holster, a J-frame holster, a Glock holster, the M&P shield holster. Um, you know, it, it's totally modular and will take a lot of different uh, accessories on here, which is awesome. Okay, I gotta move. 